I'm going to tell you a little story and then I'm going to fuck off because I'm knackered. <laughs> um, so I'm a bitch, right? I'll put it out there right now. I'm not much of a fighter at all. Never have been, never will be. And I found out I was a bitch from like a very, very early age. I was like seven. I was by my nans. All right, lads. <laughs> You're, you, you're deaf, I want the acid or something, you know, I've, I've seen you all night laughing the fuck all like. I could hear you from the back room, you know. Like, now nah, listen, all right, so I, I knew I was a bitch from a very early age. I was seven years of age, I'm out by my nans playing footy with a group of lads of a, same, of like a similar age. We all, and me and this other lads, we got into like a little, I'll say scuffle, right? We start fighting, and then midway through this fight, this little weird, I'm gonna say feral child. <laughs> Decided to bite me, right? Now this is how much of a bitch I am. I had to take a week off school to mourn the death of Steve Irwin, okay? Right, yeah, yeah. So after he's bit me, I've looked at my hand, it's piss and blood. And for the first time ever, I've felt that fight or flight instinct kicking. Now in that moment, I chose flight straight away and legged it. <laughs> I'm crying my eyes out. He's looking at me, foaming at the mouth. And, um, and then, that's when I knew I was a bitch. I knew there and then, you're a, you're, you are a fucking bitch. But for years, that made me change my perception of me as a man, right? Again. <laughs> and, and, and it made me resent him. I hated him for it. I blamed him for me being a bitch, right? Now, fast forward about 10 years. I'm in the JD because I'm classy. Doing a, little, <laughs> doing a little bit of shopping. And... Um, I look across the hallmark of, of Fashion JD and I see him, I see the kid stood there and he looks at me, he does a double take, but I recognised him straight away. It all came flooding back to me. The biting, the blood, the crying, Steve Irwin. It all came fucking rushing back him. And he's come over and he's bounding towards me, open arms. Oh, Danny, what's happening in my head? I'm thinking, this is where I get me revenge. I'm going to punch you in your face, you little cunt, right? <laughs> Bear in mind, I'm a bitch. I gave him a hug. So I'm like, oh, what's happening? You little fucker, you know what I mean? It was lovely to him. And then so I said to him, I was like, how, how, how have the family been? And he said, well, do you remember my sister and my mum? I said, yeah. He said, well, they actually died three years ago. I was like, oh, shit. So I was like, how? And he was like, oh, well, they were walking home together and there was, there was a fella drunk, uh, you know, like drink driving. He was doing 70 and a 30. Hit them. Killed them instantly. Hit and run. They never found out who the driver was. And he's in. <laughs> They never found out who the driver was, though. And, like, that fucked his dad up mentally. It's a true story, this. He fucked his dad up a lot mentally because he never got, like, justice for his wife and his daughter. And it, it, he then turned to drinking and turned to drugs. And then a year after that, his dad took his own life, right? Now, obviously, I've hated this kid for years, and it, it made me regret a lot of things I'd thought. But the one thing I will never, ever regret is drink driving. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to leave you on that. You've all been absolutely lovely. Thank you for coming out. Have a lovely night. Thank you.